Hi there, folks. This is Alex from Mad Cats. I'm here with Martin Crompton. He's our flight category manager. And, uh, and we're showing off today the brand new revolutionary X65F HOTAS hands-on throttle and stick. Uh, so that in the last video, we did an unboxing. And now we've set it up and we're running it with Flight Sim 10. Is that correct, Martin? Flight Sim 10, yep. We're in the F-18. We're in the F-18. Now, we've picked an F-18 because that's got a, a twin engine rather than a single engine. Now, what Martin's just doing is he's zooming in uh, to the on-screen display of the throttle. And, uh, and he's going to be able to show you, see how that relates in games. He split the throttle into a twin throttle engine. And, uh, and you can see that by moving each of the, uh, the throttles independently, that's actually translating in games you can see that you can set that up for a twin throttle or a single throttle now he's now he's now put that back into single throttle mode and you can see that the throttle in the game itself locks up as well so that's pretty amazing martin can you take us back and just show us some flying here just want to see the outside of the craft so so you should be able to see that Martin is now applying pressure to the x65 stick and uh, you can see that's translating into in-game movements and the amazing part of this is that the stick itself remains completely rigid at all times and it's got a series of stress gauges inside that's picking up how much pressure Martin is applying to the stick and uh, converting that into, uh, into the game. So that actually makes for um, far more accurate flying, far, far less fatigue if you're going to be flying a, a long campaign for instance and that's pretty amazing. So. What he can also do is adjust how sensitive he wants that force sensing capability, and he can do that on the fly. You see, he's a we got a little switch panel that comes with the F65, and he's just switched that to F1. And uh, what does F1 do, Martin? Well, F1 has made it a lot stiffer, so you have to use a lot more pressure to move the plane. So can you demonstrate that on screen for us? Yeah, so okay. he's uh, so now I, to move the plane up, I actually have to grip the stick properly and move it. Whereas if I go onto F4, yeah, I can just use thumb and forefinger to move it. So you can do that on the fly? Yep. Okay. And F1 may be used for things like refueling, things where you need small accurate movements, and F3 and F4 can be used for things like dog fights. Now, the other amazing thing is that uh, in the unboxing video we showed you that the X65F comes with a uh, software, bespoke software, that allows you to actually program in how sensitive you want um, those F1, 2, 3 and 4 buttons to be. So if you don't like the defaults that SciTech have automatically programmed them to, you can actually choose uh, your own levels of force sensing that you can pull up at any time just by pressing the switch. Is that correct? Absolutely right. Okay. So you can actually program all of the buttons and all of the surfaces on both the stick and the twin throttle at any one time. This gives you about, well, there's about 300 odd programmable actions or buttons that you can program. and about four modes as well which will automatically change the programmable definitions of each of those buttons giving you something like a bog mind boggling 1200 different programmable actions or keystrokes that you could conceivably use should you wish but if like me that sounds just a, a little bit scary you don't really have to do much programming at all if you simply want to use the stick in the default mode which would be great for flight combat games I guess like Hawks right? Yeah. So, uh, so there you go. So I'm going to leave Martin to go flying. That's the uh, the brand new, pretty incredible uh, X65F. It's available now from the Game Shark store or all good online retailers. Thanks, Martin. Thanks, Alex.